what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome to an awesome vlog all about my adventures at PAX East in Boston. Now, before we get into this one, I just want to go ahead and thank 20th Century Fox for commissioning me to make this video all about those crazy times. But apart from that, everybody, I had a lot of fun there. I was actually able to go ahead and attend the Assassin's Creed panel, which was awesome, by the way, and I highly suggest you guys go and uh, stick around for the clips from that panel. But besides that, everybody, I'm going to show you guys a little bit from inside of there where they let me film a tiny bit. Uh, they actually gave me front row seats to the entire thing, so that was really cool. I got to watch, like, from really up close, like, the entire panel. I, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was very, very informative for the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go through that. I'll show you guys some stuff from the show floor, where I might do a little bit of voiceover work for, because, uh, it's a little hard to hear. It's kind of crazy. If you've never been to a PAX, there are tens of thousands of people that show up to this event every single year. So when I say, like, it's hard to hear... It's very hard to hear. So I might go and like just voice over that and tell you guys a little bit about what's going on at the convention at that point. But yeah, besides that, everyone, it's good. It's been a great time. And I just, I don't know. I had fun. I did. And if you're interested as well, Assassin's Creed just came out on DVD. You can click the link in the description to go ahead and grab a copy for yourself. Apart from that, though, let's get into the video. Hi, Mike. All right, so we're on the show floor right now. It's kind of hard to hear, I'm sure, but heading out here with Aaron and Ron, and we are looking right now to try and find an interactive rock climbing wall. Apparently it's it's like, I don't know, what's it like? It's a green screen? Oh, we found it. All right, well, let's go. Woo! Uh, should be cool though. This the entire space is insane, so I think I heard an updated number on the sign somewhere that it's about 80,000 unique people came through this weekend, which... Uh, I heard 120,000. 120? Jesus. Well, as you can tell, the space is huge. For those of you who have never been to PAX, it's not just this room. It goes to another room of about equal size, and then back again. You, you can't even see the, uh, the entire convention from one end. You just can't. So, alright, I'll show you guys when we're up there. Alright, so after this point, we were done walking around the show floor. We went up to the Assassin's Creed booth so we could go and check out the green screen rock climbing wall, which essentially was a giant green screen along the wall just like this, and it had one or two rocks that you could hold on to, basically like posing like this if you're climbing, and then you wore an Assassin's Creed outfit, and it actually made it look like you were climbing and scaling a building. It was really cool. It was actually a lot of fun. So we're going to flip on over to that, and also we're going to take a look at uh, some of the different uh, weapons and and armor designs, uh, which one of the weapon specialists is going to walk us through from the movie. Okay, so at this point, the weapon specialist is walking us through a little bit about the intricacies of the actual suit itself, as well as some of the hidden blades throughout it. It's actually really cool. One question I'm sure a lot of people are going to have is, you're making weapons. Was there ever any time where you tried something and the blade like shot out or there was a mishap? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, they're basically like toys, so we play around like a workshop, we have like uh, fake heads that we can fire. And over to this side as well, we have some other weapons and suits of armor, as well as just random artifacts from the movie itself. It was really cool to kind of see them in person, and it kind of brings the movie to life, if you will. All right, so now that we finished that up, we're actually going to head on over to the panel uh, where they're going to be talking about the movie itself and some other cool things. So if you want to see some of that, that's coming up right now. You're about to enter the Animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of your ancestor who's been dead for 500 years. Awesome. Welcome, everybody, to the Assassin's Creed League of Faith panel. Thank you so much for having me today. Woo! That was really cool. I'm assuming all of you guys have seen the movie, right? Yeah, awesome. So today we're going to discuss how the Assassin's Creed game got put into a motion picture. Sorry for the pop. Um, it's perfect timing, of course, for the movie's uh, DVD and Blu-ray release, which is happening the March 21st, so mark your calendars. Uh, we also have uh, the digital HD version, which released yesterday, so if you guys want to get a copy, you can do so now. Um, we'll also be showing off some really cool clips uh, that are part of the 90 Minutes special features uh, that come with the purchase of the DVD. So now we're going to talk about some realistic stunts, all the cool arsenal of weapons. We've got some expert panelists, so I'm going to introduce them one by one. Here we go. First off, a man who no needs no introduction. We got Amar Azazia in the house. Come on by. He is the head of Assassin's Creed content at Ubisoft. Um, he's going to talk about... He's 
instrumental, by the way, in making sure that this movie st stuck true to the game. Um, next up we have Tim Wild Goose. if you can come on up. He was head of weaponry for the movie. Uh, did a great job, he's gonna get to talk about some of our favorite weapons from the game. And last, but definitely not least, we have Michelle Lynn, who is a student of martial arts and is an expert, uh, rather an expert actress now. She just finished uh, playing the role of Lynn in the movie. So welcome them all, guys. Thank you for joining me today. All right, so you mentioned that you kicked a woman in the face during this? Well, yeah, so talk about, so are you guys still friends now? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys are on good terms. Awesome. Uh, so how many times did you have to take that falling backwards stunt, and how was that for you? Did, like, was it difficult? Was it challenging? I don't know how many takes it took, but it was pretty high, but the riggers were so good at their job that it felt like I was just landing on a cloud. Oh, so you never felt the actual impact, like it was a minor it was, impact? It was really soft, yeah, but we did it, I think, for pretty much the whole day, so. A whole day of falling, okay. Uh, so, um, Michelle, talk about how you got involved in the movie. It's kind of an interesting story. Uh, we kind of talked about it over lunch, but go into detail about how you became a part of the Assassin's Creed movie. So I'm actually a martial arts student, and I'm from Andover, and I went to Tufts University, so this is my hometown. Yay! Yeah. She visited family while she was here. But basically, I had a video posted on YouTube, and the casting director somehow found it. It's really obscure. And they sent it to the director, and he liked my style and focus, so they sent me the lines to read for the audition, and I read them, and I ad libbed my own at the very end, and I think that's what got me the role, because that's pretty much how the character was drawn out for the film. Yeah, and then how did you, like, what was the instinct behind knowing to improv that part? Like, was there... A reasoning thought, behind your, maybe some of your training helped you in that regard? The, the monologue showed, it actually is really vague, they just wanted to see what we would bring to the table, so I read it as an older, disillusioned ass assassin, and I felt that I wanted to show a more ruthless, younger version that's just kind of new to the game. So at the very end, I turned to the camera and basically threatened them. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this awesome PAX East adventure. Once again, a huge thank you to 20th Century Fox for sponsoring me to get out there. Uh, but apart from that, everybody, I hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic day. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe as well, and we'll see you next time with some more awesome travel vlogs. Bye, friends.